day of the Blast Fall Showdown. Today is the day that we crown the two teams pushing in through the finals, and dude, how funny is it that they come over here, they grit their teeth and fight all the European teams on this side of the bracket, and we get another iteration of Team Liquid versus Furia. We needed it, and after their first games, so many question marks, but as the, who's that say? Danish style hot dogs got nothing on the Chicago dog. Ooh. But what about the Canadian hot dogs? Yeah, what about uh, those? We need the Actually, reviews. my one regret in life is going to Shake Shack for the first time and ordering a Chicago dog. I wish I got a burger. really didn't like it that much. What's a Chicago dog? A pickle on the side of it. I mean, I don't think it's a bad hot dog. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't want to come close to saying that. Right. I'm not an expert on hot dogs. Yet. I have a okay. lot of really controversial food opinions. Be careful. Nothing about hot dogs. I'm sure Chicago dogs are great. But this, this matchup, okay, this is about the incredible CT side statistics straight up just about this for Team Liquid yes and Furia the White Walkers to come up against mm -hmm. the wall and to see if they can overcome the defense of Liquid and as you said on the talent bus over here if there's one team right now that knows Liquid inside and out that could break down their CT side yeah. it is Furia that is why this match is going to be so exciting yeah the explosiveness the aggression of the T sides from Furia you know it just it just it's perfect. And obviously the head-to-head -to, -head to this team, this is what, the 11th time they've played in 2020. Team Furio with nine of the 10 best of three wins. But the last time they played, the most recent one was the closest it ever got. Two of those maps going beyond into double OT. So this could be a long one, which means you can all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show that these two teams are undoubtedly going to put on for us. We've got Henny at the top of Connector. Furio with a couple of players within it. And now that we've got Bathroom's control picked up by Liquid, check this out. Three players right on the cusp. Penny, he's going to be able to shoot down just the one. Yuri then goes fighting forward, and there is still Case Serato. He could swing this door open and catch a couple players. He hears them both running away, but Twists did just stick around. Everybody disengages. 40 seconds left. This is interesting because they don't technically know if it's A or B now. Coming back up the ladder through the back. This is a move by Liquid, but they're starting to start to make noise outside Monster. And of course, Fury will peek him. Art's going to just commit to the corner. They go right by. Grim clears his corner, but dies to KK Serato, who's looking for another. It's a good pinch coming in from Team Liquid. Vinny inside of the water. He needs a couple headshots, and they're aggressing from both sides of it. Just way too much heat to handle Team Liquid. They will find the first pistol thanks to a 3K from Twist. And we know they're going to rely heavily on the pistols because, again, their T-side has lots of question marks. I don't know what their practices look like. And yesterday, they played against MIBR. They had such incredible CT sides they didn't even have to play t sides they literally just won a pistol a couple anti-ecos and tripped over the finish line in this match they're starting on t side and the funny part also is that liquid in most of these games have started on ct side and just started off extremely strong um only in that one match yep. uh, versus mad lions they had to come back on the ct side of vertigo and we saw how bad and and really weird their t sides were Overpass would just be so interesting for this reason. Again, just quickly, the stats for that were brought up by Maniac on the desk, a 60-plus percent win rate in four V5s. That is unheard of. It's a, For this small sample size, it's more reasonable. Of course, no one could have that in all-time stats. But when we're talking about Astralis in their prime, their 4v5 win percentage all-time stats would be something like 30-plus percent. The Lick would have 60 percent when they lose the opening kill. It is absolutely unheard of. Like you said, small sample size launders. I mean, understandable why numbers could be flying through the roof. And I do have to think that we, we need to remember it was strong CT sides again versus MIBR. We never had to see the T halves. So despite the dominant score lines at the end of the day, it's like have Liquid's question mark that offensive half, has it really improved? Today's the day we find out. USPs at this A site, they were there early. And I mean, they did damage. Stewie 2K is sitting on only six points of health. But Furia thinking that maybe that little bit of contact, that shown hand at the A site was enough to get Liquid down towards B. Not the case at all. They just sat, waited, and sure enough, they'll find it completely evacuated. So Furia, I respect the attempt on that 
Incredibly quick rotate. You've got so little to lose that it could have been enough to throw yourself in front of it, but nothing comes their way. And they're just going to try and throw themselves at the wall here. See what sticks in a very desperate retake attempt. Not a single flashbang. But Elish takes damage, as did Stewie2k. Art's going to fall first. The two wounded players, well, putting up numbers even despite low HP. They stave off Furia's final little attempt here. They're going to come sprinting in, hope to draw somebody back, maybe kill them off. Again, 6 HP, 4 HP for both Twists, Stewie, and Elish. All low at the end. Team Liquid convert after pistol. Yeah, nice clean. And uh, their, their T sides in the second round, they were losing a lot of their conversions after the pistol. So this is also a good sign. I think one thing I feel like I noticed, and I don't want to read too much into it, but it felt like they were not confident in picking the site that they wanted to go to. Sometimes they'd come close to executing and then cancel for no apparent reason. So it feels like being more confident in their initial decisions was something that they needed to uh, fix a bit. So just seeing them commit there while Furia rotated and gamble stacked. Wonder if it was a read by them that they do change up a lot. And now we go into round number three. Art's already picked up the AWP and there is a monster hit coming fast. Art goes down, no trade whatsoever. Ooh, off the flash though, Vinny regains vision. Two kills, swapping to the USP. That follow-up flashbang from Kate Serato makes an absolute world of difference. Vinny, he now has the helping hand of Kate Serato's M4, and Stewie 2K gets turned back. That was looking like Liquid were gonna just overwhelm their B site, but a couple of killer flashbangs. Vinny got blinded by it as well but he regained vision after the wild spray down and held them all back. Yeah, they threw one nose flash to get in through Monster, and that seemed like it was enough because they took out Art for free, but as you mentioned, this, these continuation flashes were beautiful, and it was highlighted by the fact that Vinny shot all his bullets, caught the chance to pull out his USP, used all those bullets, they were still blind through all of that, so really, really nice support there from Auto. As we move now into round four, our monster exec is shut down. Galil on Stewie. Looking towards Long. Grim babysitting the bomb in the back of the stairs. Nafli holding for a flank, and he'll be rewarded with a push. He'll spot one. Doesn't have full info on everybody else. And he's stuck by himself. Twist, good refrag, great spacing from him to get that kill. No chance for Henny's op to go back on cycle, and now Furia will make the hasty rotation over to the A site. The CT side's playing fluidly. You know, we say Naf gifted as somebody peeks out through the monster, but the fact that there was three of them means he could have easily been the first casualty. They didn't go there for info. They went there for a frag, and they tried to call him out on his own. Henny, well, he got the job started at the long A side. Art looking to finish this. Flashbang perfect. Art regaining vision, but Grim looking to continue the spray as his teammate comes up with him. It's Grim and Twists left alive. Team Liquid, three rounds on this T side early. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. First of all, we're going to take a look at the, the initial engagement. I guess Nafli, well, maybe he won't watch it, but he shoots him back. But this is Twist, great spacing as he comes out for the Henny trade. Typically, you would have a CT farther back on the site in a long A setup like that, but Furia do all kinds of atypical stuff, which makes their CT sides hard to read. Um, and normally, it's the op that's farther back. And I think if there was a little bit more time, Henny was going to walk around the corner, maybe. But either way, it looked like the trade was going to be possible. So the default works out well for Liquid. They get the info early with Naf playing it safe all the way back in spawn. And they punish one of Furia's opening moves, a three monster walkout. And it looks like they'll take this space again, considering what they saw from Naf last round. It doesn't tell them much though. This is kind of nice for Liquid. They still have their options open. They don't know if a push has come out, but it's a real reset of the situation for both sides. And, and for Furia, they're actually just info B, info A right now, trying to make the most of their bad guns. Faster this time as well, right? Throwing two players to the corner of long A, and despite Henny hitting the scout shot, he doesn't pick up the kill. But Elige now walking wounded. Let's see if Furia keep this aggression going on with long. They're already starting to sniff out the top of the bathrooms. Very passive here from Liquid, considering... They could have taken far more. Stewie, eyes up, just looks away. 
And if he catches a fight over towards this A site, then that could very well prime Art to go swinging alongside Yuri. Stewie's going to walk right back into it. And sure enough, Furia into the 4v4. Yep. They've got a player on this B site, but check out Team Liquid already on the outside of it, ready to rock this. They don't have a lot of info and didn't notice how many CTs were out at bathrooms. So I'm surprised they're not moving faster into this exec. Um, but 20 seconds left. They've crossed the point of no return. They enter the site looking for the plant. Yuri's here on the hot flank, but Elise will hear it and punish the kill. MP9 within the site, just good for the first one. Grim's on point. He's got three HP. Elise on 12. Caserato, massive health advantage. Goes for the headshot. Elise ducks down. He knows exactly where the last man's at. He goes to the top rope, and Elise sends him soaring. Soaked in the water at the end of this one. Team Liquid, 4-1 start. He knows he's dead. If he tries to draw out that fight any longer, has to take a risk by peaking early and the punishment is there overall the trades and the game plan looked really good in this round for team liquid uh this is all very good stuff honestly it's already pretty much a better t side than we've seen from them in any other game this tournament here the default is just really nice where where naf is playing so far back it allows them to not die early and get their confidence shaken also even though Stewie dies there, up at A, it's so much good information. Imagine if uh, Stewie doesn't die, and they all had that stack going on to A, and then Liquid just continued forward if Stewie got a kill. They would have ran into way more players. Stewie kind of the poisoned appendage in that last round. Better to cut it off early. Five seven P two fifty and a Deagle. Everybody stacked up here from Furious. So there's certainly a threat facing Liquid, but with their bomb back in spawn, it's very clear they're not looking to rush this round. Meticulous decisions. They clear out every single corner with no sign of being shut down. Furious last players here on long. Stewie's just running around with the Mac ten, gets the headshot, and Stewie's gonna give him a little extra because Team Liquid are feeling this T side. Like you said, this is the most amount of success we have seen from their T halves so far at the showdown. So a few intangibles, of course, the fact that they're playing overseas is one thing. Uh they they're getting more practice, good practice recently. That goes for both teams. Stewie sites playing together and boot camping and how they always play better in that sense. Um, and then also recognizing that Furia is a team that's beat them in, what is it, 9 out of 11 of their nine last... 9 out of 10, this year 11. 10 of their last best of threes, and they need to overcome that. Out. Something very close to that. All right, but Caserato will take a lot of damage here at the M4. Art hanging out in stairs. Oh, we'll find out if he overstays his welcome. He's got a good angle, but the timing's not on his side. Oh! It doesn't even matter if he has the timing or not. Turns back around like a possessed man with that off. Flick shot, no scope into Stewie. And he'll even shove back his opponents with this smoke. He's here just to delay now. Oh, but they jump <laughs> over the fire. <laughs> right over the scope. Alige goes sailing. That's how you do that. Now they fade away from it. Damn, man. Art, he had to fight tooth and nail just to get that first kill. And the fact that it comes by way of no scope, how wild. Molotov at the top of the staircase. He, he was just trying to keep himself up in the situation. And instead, he is dead, leaving Liquid to prioritize long. Yeah. they. I'm not sure how aware they are that Henny's still offing. Can't remember if he had saved this or carried it forward, how in tune they are with the money. But they're moving towards Long, and Henny is not here to fight them just yet. Alish dies, but this, again, gives them info on the setup a little bit. Vinny will move into a new position. Absolutely clothesline, Snafly, and twist, but he'll eventually be traded. But it doesn't matter. Furia, ultimately, with those two kills from Vinny, the one in the back from Henny, they'll actually close the round out, even despite losing Long A control there, and Alish moving fast, or sorry, Liquid moving fast off of the information that Alish had died. Maybe this ridiculous no-scope actually helps their odds in this round. Turns around on him. He was the troll in the dungeon. Scared Liquid off to long, wasting zero time. Vinny, he needed those quick headshots. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Elise dying. I mean, you see it. The moment that Team Liquid start char charging up long, 
Furia realize all they have to work with is the positions out between bathrooms and the bomb site. They hug the wall closest to long so that somebody had to come checking them. See, watch. Vinny hugging this wall, forcing the first player to go incredibly wide, far wider than the second player, sectioning off these 1v1s on his own terms because he knew he had to get to that piece of cover before he could swing out for frags. Really nicely done by Vinny. He takes to the top of the scoreboard for Furia. And he has as many kills as we've played rounds. The eighth comes in off of the tack timeout. Opt for Stewie 2K, same for Henny. An exchange of utility down here in Connector, but it's not Art alone. In fact, Art was there with Yuri, already reeling backwards towards bathrooms, leaving Yuri to hold this position instead. Quick moves here out towards Long. Art's all alone, spinning on a swivel, trying to get back some information. He'll call for Henny to come back and pick up Long. So it looks like they're going to go into a more standard A setup here. And now that he's in this spot, it's a very strong place to be. Last round, Liquid just turned the corner quietly. But they can't afford to do that this time around. Henny will let an op shot go off. And once again, just this battle for information before they commit to anything. Smoke down long. Art can easily call this one's bluff. He's going to do exactly that. So again, one of these moments where Team Liquid decide to change their decision. Oof, they predicated the entire round on that one smoke push. Mm -hmm. And the information works wonderfully here for Furia. These B players are going to be on high alert. We've got Vinny playing counter flash in the corner. And we've got, of course, K Serato right there with him. Stewie 2K looking to smoke out the rotation. We also have Henny's op now down here, just next to the graffiti. Vinny is going to activate off of the flashes. It's Henny's assistance that comes in big. Serato with a couple of kills. Alige going to trade one. It is a man advantage. Eight seconds left, and well, they need to just run right into the site, but with no cover from short, it's all on Nafly, and he doesn't have time. Furia pushing that smoke on long, calling out the call, going with the rotation into the B site, completely icing Liquid out and giving themselves a third. Right, yeah, as you're mentioning, calling out the call Liquid, they rotate all the way around to B, and Arp is right there to say, okay, well, there's no one peeking me. There's no one to come up afterwards, uh, after the smoke. Henny's pushed through to make sure no one's out wide. I'm going to go get this info quickly, and that is a wrap. There's pretty much no way in Furious mind they lose that round. They've got the two monsters set up with a support flasher in the back. And Vinny just gets on his skateboard, slides out for the 2K spray down. And it makes things a whole lot easier on his teammates at well as well. Back to pistols, except for Nafly, who's retained the op. It's hard to really take over a round as the one opera on T side. On CT side, you know, you might have a lot more options. On T side, you might need a little bit of luck to figure out what the CT setup is going to be. And Furia are a hard team to read on CT side. Because they're so proactive. And they bring so many different looks every single round. You're floating an inside connector. That's where the first one falls. We do still have Henny posted with his sniper and Twist tries to show him a little leg. Goes down for absolutely free. Yuri will be denied by Naf. So that sniper comes into the play for Liquid, but it's one kill as they're already facing a two versus five. Yes, it does give a gun over to Stewie, but he doesn't even have the armor. 45 seconds in a very deep position from Serato to call out any kind of A to B rotate. There's no way they go all the way back around through spawn. Furia figure that much out for their own. And so the kills just continue to trickle in. We can see with the, the boot camps coming into play, right, that things are changing a lot. This is the first time since May that they've actually played overpass against each other. And it, even though they've played this 10 or 11 best of threes against each other this year, they've only played overpass twice. And again, the last time was back in May. It's not, not a place where they normally meet up. And I don't think it's coincidence that they suddenly do it as soon as they fly to Europe, get some new practice and have developed things. Just to clear those numbers so we don't have to do again. You were dead on. It is 10 BO3s already, nine of them for Furia. This is the 11th. Mm. In 2020, of course. And we're already seeing quite a tight match. Some really cool stuff here. Furia definitely putting the Liquid's feet to the fire. And it's another fast monster run. Okay, well, this is versus short control. It'd be an interesting situation. 
Yeah, they're trying to hit it heavy. Lots of damage already from the utilities. Case Serato with a quick kill. Molly's gonna go ahead and clear out Sandbags. There is a second player over there. Grim, he's given up his back to it, but Alige finding Vinny inside of the water. That one's massive. Yuri had to deny himself the chance to peek because of the fire at his feet. A four versus two for Team Liquid. Smashing into that B site, reading into this constant presence from the likes of Yuri and Art in, inside of Connector. No longer playing around with that. No longer sizing up long. Not looking to tango in the bathrooms, but rather just bash their head against the B site. And they bust right through it here in the 10th. Team Liquid going to maintain their lead 6-4. to four. Yeah, the call's obviously great. Um, but just because a team goes for short water control doesn't mean they can't stop along the execute. Again, the idea of shutting down one side of the split and then opening up new positions for you to stand in can sometimes catch a team off guard. So the fact they have sandbags control double stacked plus the first opening kill goes to the player on sandbags, meant that this could have gotten very ugly. But I think as soon as that Molotov lands, the player peeks out and Alige actually ends up trading him over on short. Uh, and, and then the round falls apart from there. Of course, also, we had somebody in heaven eat a flash completely, dropped into pit while Liquid were watching as they entered into Monster. So very, very quick execute. And some nice trades means that Liquid will pick up a sixth T round already again looking very very good here on T side. Oh, but Yuri he just peeked around the side of fountain. Look at this gunfight. Instantly taking the pace right back to Team Liquid. And as Furia on the CT side, you know, there's not many places you can commit to what is just a head-to-head -head gunfight. Going into that fountain play generally tends to be your best option. Works wonderfully. A solar flare at the top of the party blinds two. You see them tucking their heads into the wall. Just hoping they'd survive. Absolutely not. Furia, you want to play fast, they ask? They give Team Liquid an answer right back. Henny's got this real comfortable angle here at the top of bathrooms, and Art is pushing all the way around. Like him. Leg one, for what it's worth. It's actually still a two on three now because he doesn't get that kill. The flank comes out, but at a certain point, it won't be a surprise. They might be able yep. to score a plant easy here. Grim's going to go ahead and put it down on Prime. I hear one rotate coming up. Art, this flank is going to be crucial. Grim now watching it, but caught in the smoke, kind of crawling through in transition. Napfly, that smoke now begins to fade. Art could be peeking him already, but he does get himself closer towards the bank. There are questions to be asked here, and Naf, if he wraps this dumpster, They've already figured it out because two players come in from it, but he gets that instant headshot and the bomb is not planted for him, but rather deeper on the truck. It's a seven second left on the defuse and Vinny gives cover by boosting on top of the diffuser. Oh, Vinny using art like a step stool to give Furia a fifth. That's actually so sick. And he can watch both bank and CT depending on where Naf wants to approach from. Really sick play there by Mr. Vinny. And here's the opening of the round. Again, like the flash with the push, they just go for this tactic. They say if they establish on A control, then we'll shut them down early. This is... I don't know if I've ever seen that. Some nice quick thinking, yeah. For that specific situation, look right. really, really awesome. So, all right, let's see what they try to do this time. Of course, if you're on T side, doesn't mean you have to respect the A pushes. You've just got to be more prepared. Grim's very, very close to the smoke underneath them. And I think there is a world where he doesn't respect this. He's going to see them dismantle the boost and actually fall back to the top of stairs. And now Grim is trying to follow the scent. He's actually walking up behind them. And when you get info this early, you sometimes do have the compulsion to follow it, actually. So the early stair stack is called out, just like when we saw Furia call out their play on long. And, and F also gets a kill on the other side of the map. This is going to maybe reinforce this push on their minds. Yeah, I think so. But Art and Yuri, they both went from inside connector Holy to the A hell. site, back around to long. Art's going to get aggressive. Alige, he's going to be caught out in the open, but he hits a zinger of a headshot. Grim and twists down low because of utility. But a fallback from Yuri as he empties out his belt. It's just the three flashbangs left over. Oh, Naf, though. Another kill coming through the monster. He takes absolute control first versus the opper.
And then the second, but there is a man in position back by the barrels. Case Serato catches Stewie scoped in. Nafly, three kills from his position. And Team Liquid use that transition to give themselves a seven. Wow. Amazing round from Liquid. I mean, there's so many things that go well. It's hard to even crown an MVP of that round because every kill is pretty critical. Nafly makes a huge play by himself over on B, but Elysia is the one to win his duel versus Art, who goes back for information. And by that point, when Furia had come back towards Long after Grim had just figured out they were doing a stair stack, you would never think that Art would be that far out at Long because he was basically holding W the entire time. I mean, it is a religion after all, but they still get the kill. That's that's the important part. Furia have to save now. Yuri's got an MP9 to work with. Liquid go out for an A default. It won't be easy to get one over Liquid and Nafly. It won't be his first rodeo dealing with the B push. This is what it sounds like in Naf's head Tetsuya. all the time. Just the pure party. Yeah, that's why he just looks so exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the morning after for Nafly. Goes ahead and catches Art, but he knows he's not alone. And neither is Naf, in fact. That rotator just keeping Serato in position. Meanwhile, silence on long. Again, another solid call. It's one of those situations where you can't really do wrong anymore. You've got info, you've punished a push. You basically, the only way you lose the round is if you split up too much and allow for... Um, untradeable kills to come in. Like, see, they're actually even running into three players, but they should still be fine. Should be. Player behind the dice box. If the short guys can cause a distraction, then this sweep out from Serato could have gone big. Instead, Twists takes off his head and five members of Team Liquid move forward. An 8-5 T-half on overpass. Definitely justifying their map pick thus far. But of course... Not over just yet. Unfortunately for Furia, despite being able to stave off the economic problems as long as they have, it's going to be another ugly one. I'm just looking at USPs. They'll be shooting for a sixth round, best case scenario. Can we look back at... Uh, they were basically on a full-on win streak in NA playing overpass. There wasn't very much good competition for them. But hold on, this is a very fast exec. Okay, they're, they're going to hear this and take the bomb and probably run it into B. So Liquid played against uh, Mad Lions on overpass in, in this first series of the showdown. Mm -hmm. uh, they lost 12 to 16 and they only got, they went two to the 11 CT rounds of Mad Lions. So this is already an, a significant improvement. You can see that there's more deliberate, there's, there's more deliberate calling, more confidence in the moves. And they look very well drilled so far. Two AKs picked up by Furia. The USP is doing enough to at least grab that. And uh, I think they're going to go ahead and test this. They had also picked up a flashbang. So that sort of helps in challenging on the short side of this affair. But uh, they'll take a third kill and leave that one at that. Let bygones be bygones and move those AKs into the next one. A ninth round from Team Liquid versus USPs. Obviously, Furia is still capable of a fight despite their lesser weapons. Man's inside of the smoke. Some kind of gremlin. Boost gets taken down beneath him and he comes back with a quick bit of revenge versus a liege. So let's see it. One final attempt from Furia here on the CT side to give themselves a sixth. A good chance had a little bit of improvement. Love watching rounds like these. Like, what's your final strat? After everything that we've seen, all the baggage that comes with the previous losses and successes in the half, what do you choose to do? Alige defaulting towards A, takes a peek out towards Fountain, doesn't notice that Art is there. I feel like maybe if we took a freeze frame of that moment, he would have been able to, to spot Art, but I'm not exactly sure. And Art will actually punish him after he comes out for the peak. So Alige, in his mind, does the due diligence. He peeks out that, that way, but then Art just suddenly appears. He was actually there the whole time. This puts Liquid in an interesting position. It looks like they've got eyes forward on this monster hit. Don't know if they'll commit to it. They're starting to now congeal into all their usual nade lineup positions. And the CTs with all this A control, they're gonna be heavily stacked towards monster. Finny. 
We've seen him here before. Gets cleared by Grim every time. Yes, it's Twist to take the kill, but Twist and Grim combining, fusioning into this B site oh so well. Let's see if they can take it back at the two versus four. Henny's going to deliver a couple of kills. Now it's even. A smoke thrown from Furia to block off Vision on short. And Art, well, he's down to 15 HP. We're talking 27 health combined for the remaining members of Furia. Stewie2K's op still on a full bar, and because of his deep position, it leaves it all on Henny. He's the reason they got this close. Can he close? Time is ticking quickly. Doesn't have a kit currently on him, so that's really going to serve the biggest issue, and there is no chance for him to find this clutch. Team Liquid with double digits on a T side. Significant improvement since they played versus Mad Lions, and now they'll swap to the defensive half where all we have seen is dominance. Jesus. <laughs> That's a new record, eh? Alright, your T-spawn does two. Okay. Move to the right. Wait, do go forward. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Go straight, go straight. Jump over the ramp, jump. Ooh, go right, go right. You gotta look right a little bit, look right a little bit. Okay, go forward. Move to the right a little bit. Wait, yeah, go forward, jump. Jump forward a little bit. Go straight, go forward, look left. Look left for me real quick. All right, keep going left a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, go forward now, go forward and jump. And then move to the right, you can look right. Keep looking right. <laughs> move to the right. Go forward, jump. Okay, jump again. Jump again. And then look to the right. Look right now, look right. More, more, more. <laughs> Hold D and jump. Yeah, jump up now, jump up to the right, and then you move forward. You gotta jump to the right. <clears throat> Here, wait, look right a little bit, look right. Yeah, jump forward. You gotta crouch, yeah. Okay, wait, move to the left a little. Look a little left, a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, go forward, go forward. Uh, move left a little bit and then go forward. Okay, perfect. Slowly, wait, move to the right, slowly, slowly. Keep going a little bit, a little bit. All right, go forward now, go forward straight. And then look behind you and press E. There you go. Wait, press oh, yeah? E? Yeah. Wait, he has to do a second map? Yeah, jump, go forward. Oh, go forward, look to the right. 90 degrees to the right. Yeah, right there, go forward. Wait. Okay, stop, look to the left. Yeah, go, uh, hold W and jump. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's see how we get past this part. All right, move forward and jump onto that thing if you can. Try again, try again. There you go, okay, move forward. All the way, keep going, keep going. Okay, look right a little bit, a little bit. Look right, right. Right, right, right. Okay, move forward. There That's a new record, is. Eh? That is a new record. Hey! <laughs> dude, you are so good, man. You yeah, are so let's good. Do it. It's the movement, dude. It's, I'm just the eyes. You're the movement. No, no, no. You were so good at explaining. I was just completely quiet. I was just listening. <laughs> Team Liquid providing us CT sides in abundance here in Europe. It's the North American matchup today for a spot at the Blast Fall Finals. Oh, Jesus. Don't go too far, Moses. Wow. Opening kill percentage goes down. Look at them all laughing at him. Doesn't need it anyway. He's always got his knee on a chair spinning in circles. You think Moses misses us? I can hear the monkey clapping in, the, in his brain. <laughs> Do I think he misses us? Yeah. I hope so. Do we miss him? I hope he misses us so much he's sad, you know? Yeah. I want him to be unhappy. Well, at least, he's, uh, at least he's off finding I, some success. I, yeah. I mean, look at this Look at this facility. Sure. Look at this team right now. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah never feeling pretty good. I don't good. think he misses shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's having a grand old time. Yeah. Uh, definitely, things are working better. Team looks good. T-side looks good. 
This is... I predicted Furia coming into this match um, because I wasn't sure about Liquid's T-side. They've improved everything. Uh, I don't really have any more questions. That was definitely very solid, and I still saw Shades of Furia in that first half. They may have made some mistakes, but overall, like, they, you could see their game plan was still there. They were hitting some shots. They just lost, fair and square. But now there are still questions about whether Furious T-Side could be the one that busts through Liquid's ice wall. We'll find out. That much we know for sure. Naf falling back away from Long. Furia very much going to take this. All of their members up here closer towards the A-Site. You can say the exact same thing for Team Liquid. There's that possibility of the connector to be rotate. And obviously that internal clock for Liquid is ticking. They now recognize that possibility and will move a couple pieces downstairs. They've got the kit, a smoke, and a Molotov for the retake if needed. Twist's just going to go ahead and spot it. That smoke from Furia to deny any vision of somebody over on Monster because they had nobody here and they don't know if there's already anchors, but there isn't. They're going to boost for heaven. Oh, I like this. Jack goes up the Beanstalk, and now they can flank CT. CT kills come in. Vinny's still stuck up top. Oh my god, these CT trades are incredible, though. And he has to start firing off. It's a 1v5, and they now know exactly where he's at. Ali's just going to stick this defuse with the kit, so it's all over. Oh, geez. And Vinny, he's giving us headshots, damn it. But it's the rest of his team that couldn't find a single kill among the four of them. And Team Liquid going to take second pistol here on overpass. The CT side starts strong. The novelty of Vinny's position wears out as soon as his teammates die this quickly on the site. He cannot play off the bomb timer. The bomb's not planted for him, so he actually needs to come in earlier to get kills. But it's still a good idea for him to be here. He just needs just a tiny bit more help. And you can see he was firing hot from the heavens to get the three kills. But another pistol round one. And I just think at this point, like, even if Liquid CT side drops off a bit because of Furia, they should still be able to score the, you know, six out of the last whatever rounds. But that being said, again, one of the storylines coming into this match is if anybody in the world right now knows Liquid and can beat them and, have, and has proven it this year and could maybe test their CT side, it's Furia here on T side. So hopefully we get a longer half. We'll have an early buy because of this bomb plant that went down. Furia have some reasonably... Good guns and equipment. A little bit light on Vinny and Art. They're going the full power, firepower mode. Leash comes out with an early peek. He had a great spawn to do so. Furia are nowhere to be found. Stewie going for the jump spot. Could have just got caught by Art, but he doesn't find the opening kill just yet. Still very much looking for it. And sure enough, nearly takes down Twist. Incendiary goes beyond him, and Stewie at a distance. The third defender on this B site will get that opening kill. Team Liquid, two members wounded. Utility on everybody other than Twist and Stewie 2K, but Furia kind of magnetized towards this bomb site because of that first casualty. Let's see if they can get into it. They're walking out silently with AKs in hand. Caserato's scout. That plays off of Short and Stewie. He's going to go pushing into this. They get aggressive and Twist only adding one more kill to the tally. So a man advantage for Furia made possible by Team Liquid's discretion. And Furia winning the force by three AKs saved. That works out wonderfully for the offense. Try to find that opening in the time and you throw the flash to the left side of the pillar and Yuri will punish. He's a little bit late to it. Of course, that timing is arbitrary. They're trying to go off a of feeling like, hey, flash now, and then they peek. Sometimes they're going to be out in the open, sometimes they won't be. That was a situation where they were not, and they lose. Now, you could say, why do they need to push? Well, they they actually didn't have better guns in Furia, even though they had a man advantage. So they probably felt a little bit of pressure to close the distance. But the risk does not pay off this time around, and that forces them back onto pistols, which makes this game a whole lot more interesting. That's all I really care about. I'm all aboard. You've sold me a ticket. Yeah, let's potentially see, you know, 10 rounds on this t on this T side from Furia and see uh, not 10 rounds they win, but, you know, at least a good amount of rounds where Liquid will be tested and we can really get to understand Liquid CT side when Furia is involved.
No contact made whatsoever, so easy walkout on Long, but Stewie, maybe not making it so easy. Hits the Deagle headshot, does have teammates around here. Question is, did the weapon get retrieved, or is it still sitting inside of the smoke? Yeah, it's, it's on the CT side of it. He just found it inside of the smoke, now he backs up. Stewie, all of a sudden, becomes that much more threatening. Oh, oh, flank. Vinny walks right around a liege. Some information and damage dealt here. And he takes one out on the stairs. This opens up to me if they want to go this way. Stewie's here to fight. They end up just taking, taking the 50-50. Caserato will win both. Bingo for him. Grim gets out. Furia win the round. And it was a, a good attempt. It definitely was the right stack. It was a good opening kill for Team Liquid. But they don't win the round. It's going to happen sometimes. We'll see what they can do on this follow-up. It might be Furia getting to eight here based on the economy that we're seeing so far. I kept my eyes on Stewie. I'm kind of wondering whether Elish had anybody looking to his side before that walk-up happens. Because he's just like, you know, stuffing his face against the wall. Yeah, I think he is just playing for himself. I think you're right. Like, if it was a rifle round, he would never stand there looking that way without yeah. somebody holding the outside of bathrooms for him, but on a round like this, he was just taking a risk for himself. Probably didn't even tell anyone. Terrorist. I know Naf was inside of Connector, but presumably walking down from long to the bathrooms itself, he slips through somehow, some way. In case Serato giving cover here. Good round from Furia. I like it. And obviously Team Liquid still recovering economy. It'll be just Grim with his measly CZ. Smoke and armor. Love to get an update on the on the stats after this game is over for all those CT side stats. <laughs> those unbelievable numbers. Really unbelievable, yeah. Okay, Vinny will take Stewie out, and it's USP mow down city. Population Furia. And style and on through the boost. That's it. They also Liquid also had the highest trade kill percentage as well. The key plays that were being made between Nafly and Elige, I think, were the most interesting. Uh, we saw them on Overpat, or so we saw them on Nuke, and we saw them on Dust Two, where these guys seem to communicate each other telepathically. When Nafly would take a peek somewhere, Elige would take a peek on another part of the map, moving seamlessly in between each other, really doing a good job of finding openings. And there just seemed to be a good like amount of natural chemistry when it came to making those decisions. Naf, of course, right back to that slot behind dumpster. Yeah, it's where he plays on T side. Discoteca. It's where he found comfort here in the 19th. But it is Furia, eighth Furious. round on the board. Three rounds, the difference. Three AKs saved. Naf getting his knees taken out. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fights beyond and. There we have it. Guns back in for Team Liquid. This is Vinny calling out the boost from Stu. And I hope we get that wall bang kill too. Just for style points. Caserato through the boost. All right, let's see it. Buy back up from the defense. But Furious offense, that force buy in the second round nets them three in a row. How far do they ride the momentum? Very standard go of it so far. Furia looking for the boost. It looks like they might be rewarded. Yes, the player goes up top. It's with two. It's with a flash, though. So even though it took some time and they were watching it, twist flashes everything. Grim now trying to play off the pillar, looking at the left side. Caserato will peek out. Win is oh. oh my god, make it too. This guy is on fire. Now that Molotov's gonna hit Stewie, but Stewie gets aggressive, catching him with a nade out. Caserato doesn't mind. Gets the AK right back in hand, and his 3K has done everything for Furia off of the back of the 3v5. Oh man, Naf's already down to 4 HP through the spam. Henny will punish him, send him tail between his legs, back through CT spawn, over towards A and Elyse. He's just trying to make a play. He'll get punished for that, Furia. When they're patient, you're confused because they're always being aggressive and that sometimes is, their, is the trick that they use as well. So Nafly, again, will look to save as Furia probably just moves slowly into the B site. 
we're going to assume 35 seconds. I mean, they could make some crazy decision here, but it seems like they're starting to walk out now. It's all about Caserato when we look Hell back yeah. on the replay package for this round. The first kill is one thing. Denying the refrag is where Liquid have shine. Sean and the third kill. It, again, it's just, just the cherry on top. At that point, it's like they already won the round. We saw how good it was for Liquid when they came out a monster and there was a heavy monster setup where either like Grim and Elise both looked in different places and both got their opening kill and destroyed that setup. That's what it felt like this time for Furia, except it was all one player. And one player who was so close to getting killed after the second. He didn't anticipate Stewie getting aggressive. We've seen that from Liquid now twice on the B site. When Furious start to find that opening, they throw a flash in, try and force their way back into the control of it. But Caserato gets his gun back out so quickly and then just taps into the face of Stewie behind the Toxic. Really looking forward to seeing this 3K on the replay. Let's ch 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 check it out. So we get the opening pillar kill, looking for the refrag. Amazing adjustment off the twist, flicks to the right, and then falls back off of the presence from Stewie and doesn't exactly predict where he's going to go, but again, the adjustment is there. His first blade accuracy is so damn good. He's on 20 and 11 right now. He's definitely been a superstar on this map, making this game extremely competitive. And so far, it's been a pistol round win for, for Team Liquid. Four rounds following that for Furia. And it's back to pistols again here for Team Liquid. Trying to go for the boost, but Naf just ate a flash. And because of that slight delay... That's one of Furia's favorite boosts. You think they're not going to watch that? Yeah. Trying to use their own tricks against them. But at the same time as that boost kind of distracting the two players inside a short, we had Grim push through this smoke to ice out Art. Minute 15, bomb back by the Discoteca. Bomb will be retrieved. Three Ooh. CTs facing forward. Ooh. That's a big one. Yeah, a clean one, too. Alish, he still hangs on to the M4, and he just jumped out of heaven. Grim just sidelines K Serato, slides right past the monster, takes his head clean off. They had so little to work with in this round, and it's not over just yet. But K Serato is the one who clutched it from Liquid's jaws last round. And now he is already taken out of this one. So who goes big? Vinny or Henny or neither? Henny's honing in on Grim. He has only 12 HP, but this Deeg hits the floor. Liquid with a robbery as they find 12 rounds. I didn't think that would be the way that they extend the lead. 9 to 12 off of that. A couple of great plays here. A nice shot from Twist into short with the Deagle. And Yuri initially denying this boost, you think, okay, it's going to be a very, very clean round, super easily done, but it isn't so. Grim's 2K is huge. Big Grim. Yeah. The flash doesn't it doesn't actually hit, but Caserato's clearing right as soon as he walks out. So it's good timing on the audible. They react accordingly. Furia back to going towards Monster. Yuri Fast. way far out. Let's see, Stu completely blind. These CTs about to be pummeled unless they can hold their ground. Twist, there's a player oh right next God. to him. Everybody's now starting to regain vision, but these PT's positions, they did not expect it. Grim also with the element of surprise, wrapping around the column, turns it on to Henny, and now he has Art pinned in position. Does a good bit of damage. Elish coming for more, and Nap with the off gets Yuri down. Vinny's delayed Woo. peak also removed, and Team Liquid firing through what was a fiesta on that B site. No way they actually defend against that. This is the bane of Liquid's existence, where B execs like this, specifically the ones that Strahlis were throwing with all of these continuation flashes that came in. I absolutely love this from Furia. The way that they got Yuri all the way to the back of the site, separated from everyone else. So the second, third, fourth player, sometimes they get naded depending on the spawn. So they <laughs> set, they actually create some distance there and they get everyone so blind. Yuri gets into a position on the site. There's another player back a pit. First kill goes down for Furia and that's where it should totally collapse. That's where everything should fall apart for Liquid but they, they keep their wits about them. They don't respond to the fact that they were fully blind for so many seconds. They look around because they know Furia could be anywhere. They find the frags. That's insane. Really well done for Liquid. Again, they've always struggled to hold B. You saw Stewie's reaction as well. Just couldn't kind of believe what the hell just unfolded. So many layers to that one. And so few for Furia here in the 23rd. An op on art.
a single smoke to work with. But they are being given some distance for free. Team Liquid forfeiting over bathroom and long. And we all know how this can play into the hands of the T's when it comes to overpass a site. You get that long presence, walk all the way down, and with art catching Naf, that is massive. They're about to start running this in. They're gonna crank that dial. A leash, he also goes down with no response. And Stewie from the dumpster, so many players to fire at. They are all empty handed. Are you kidding? Furia just snowballing into this a site. Twists down to beyond half health. And they're trying to find some kind of an answer because straight out the gate, they had nothing to work with. Liquid's defense evaporates. They leave them a little bit of a bait to take that off and, and walk away. There's no chance for Team Liquid in these post-plant situation, in this post-plant situation to take over the site again. Another round where they basically get ecoed. This is a half force, like slight investment round for Furia. They're trying to score a bomb plant. They're trying to get three kills. Winning, they'll take it, of course, but that certainly wasn't their expectation coming into the round. And, um, I mean, honestly, it didn't look like Liquid were doing too much wrong here. I think one thing you are, you're always worried about on CT side is not using all of this free map control when it comes to A. And, uh, sorry, Art did have an off. That's actually, a, you know, a big deal here. Knocking down the off on that fly early on. But getting the info early, but then having your CT feel like dying in the front of the site, thinking he has to make some kind of playback to get some information or to get a kill, and that leaves him out in the open. If you're just attacking really relentlessly, makes that incredibly difficult. I thought there was less of an investment there. Look, Henny and Art both have ops looking for kind of a gimmick round. I feel like they give this away. This is Art getting a kill, which kind of powers up Henny. We'll see if a mistake gets made, but it looks like he's also with the pack. Yeah, he's just eyes posted on mid, waiting for them to look to try to get some information elsewhere. But that's not even going to happen. Stairs control is arts, whether he knows it or not. You know he's going to go find out for himself. Stewie and Elise back on the site. Liquid look a little bit scared here. They, again, they know they, they need to make something happen. If they sit back and wait, especially on the A site, eventually they'll get overwhelmed. But where do they get the information? We saw Furia were so good on CT side and knowing when to aggress and not wasting any time. So by the time you came to the site, they had already cleared out two, three, two things, two, three things. Oh, Liquid gamble hard on A, and it is the incorrect read. They're going to be late to move back. Actually, I think Furia will hear them even rotating. Yeah, so Furia, they're going to commit to this as Liquid try to sporadically bounce back in. But you can see the hesitations already, and with that second, they grab the op off. Stewie's going to try to save it. Naf, the first casualty of both of these rounds, getting plucked off of the APC on A site when all they had to work with was Art's op. And then he tries to go for that duel versus Art yet again here in Connector. That was the kill that kind of gave Furia all the control, slipping into the B site. They'll see the snipers disappeared. Recognizing Liquid looking to save the four weapons into the next one because their bottom out bank accounts can't sustain too much. Twists, Fomis finding Art. Now he's going to get peeked by Vinny, but that also canceled. So three players to save. Again, Unless Henny gets one more at the end. 11 tier for Furia, and this is Team Liquid coming off of a 10 5 start into their stronger side. 10 5 half versus Mad Lions on their CT side of Overpass, the first best of three here at the showdown. But Furia looking to stop all that, to stand in the face of all of the statistics that we have to show us how few statistics that we have. I think one of the strengths of Furia today was going to be talking about that T side and whether it could figure out Liquid. Well, right now we're getting our answers. It can. Thank the heavens for Liquid that they were able to improve on their offensive side because that was the second question mark. So we're getting the answers we want. We're getting the game we want. Things heating up. As we hit the 25th round, Furia able to establish the short control pretty quickly. 
They're gonna go ahead and smoke out Monster. Art, he's gonna try to run through this. There is a smoke on the other side to help him. Twists now knowing without vision that there could be players above. Oh. And Vinny, he slips right into the sight, but it's Grim and Stewie to lock it down. Twists is the first casualty, but it's a two versus four. And Furia, all they have is that back door of the monster. They've got a player in a deep commitment, Art barely alive. Henny Sniper looking to give the cover, but Grim, he catches another. That's three kills for Grim on this behold. An anchor for Team Liquid, but a solution in Henny. Two kills in the 1v4, and with 40 seconds, he slips back out. Whoa, options are actually wide open at the moment. It would be one big rotation over towards the A site if he wanted to go that far. The longer he waits, the more nervous Liquid get about whether or not they should split up. It's in his best interest to take his time here, even if he goes for hitting B again. So really costs him nothing to seek out some information. There are no 1v1s to be found. And it looks like Henny is thinking about going over towards A. The door is open. He'll make the rotation. And they do not hear this. This is going to be a free plant. This would be a 1v4 to absolutely destroy the confidence, economy, and scoreline and stats of Liquid on CT side. And there's a pretty big chance. I'd chalk it up to, you know, 50-50 at this point if he gets a free shot on the first kill. So he posts, and he sees the head, but he misses that first one. Now the pressure's on. Henny, they're getting closer. Three kills, and the fourth! Henrique with a clutch for Furia! An absolute dismantlement of Liquid in one of the most crucial of moments. They don't peek him together. Off the back of Dice, this is such a critical moment, as you're saying. First of all, the shots are great, but again, this should never happen. If Naf is going to take a peek there, if someone else is going to take a peek there, if there's any hope, that he could get a shot off. There needs to be someone there to swing and Op should not be able to do this. Devastating round here for Team Liquid. It's been a couple of heroic individual plays in spots where Liquid actually look quite good to pull this back, to pull this half back into question. That'll take the smile off your face. You know, emotions will play a factor after a round like that, but you have to move forward. Like you cannot think about what just happened. The only issue is that this is probably going to allow Furia to even up here. I don't know what the investment is going to be for Team Liquid, but it's going to be a neutered one. Four Desert Eagles, a 5-7, and a flashbang. Well, well, well. Furia are the solution. Team Liquid still hanging on to a lead, and obviously, they're able to get into those man advantages. It's a matter of shutting down the clutch factor in moments like that. Liege was inside of Connector early, but he's already started to skate back towards the A site. Heavy numbers for Liquid on B. Furia have plenty of time, plenty of momentum. We haven't seen them rushing things. And if they keep that up, all should be good. Looks like a smoke to just hold him in place for a little bit as he peels back. Bomb well, going to go towards A. Elish is alone here on the A site with just a pistol. So what could be a successful and clean anti-eco coming up as Furia set eyes forward on a liege back dice. Rotations will not come out from the CTs. Grenades go beyond. A liege just looking for that crucial headshot. Nap finds one. Vinny able to answer with three kills. That's big. They all come at him from different angles. And he's able to react fast enough. Twists incredibly low. Yuri's gonna bag it. Furia 13 rounds. We are tied up and there is no reason to believe that the Brazilians can't keep this ball rolling. Yeah, I think it, in in the early in the early rounds it comes down to like who's got the better setup, like who's winning. But then as soon as the heroic plays start coming in, K Serato, 3K, even this round actually, right? Vinny could have died three different ways, and that makes it things a whole lot more questionable. But he wins all three duels. Small situations like that can mean the world. But yeah, now that we're in the, you know the final few moments here. 
The light is star starting to wane for, for Liquid. How much do they have left in the tank? At least on the bright side for them, they can continue with what works because the early rounds, the starts, yep. have been pretty good. They've even oh, won back some 4v5s, right? Yes. Cold hard facts. Where's that flash? Yuri's about to peek this. Oh my goodness. Third man goes in. Art, he gets the headshot versus Stewie. A three-player boost on short. And Elise now gonna hug that close wall, confirming they're still in there. Furia walking away back over towards the monster. What's the setup inside of B? Twists along the wall. Grim in the pit. He has been one of the heaviest hitters on that B site, Grim. Furia, they're going to leave the bomb and two additional players here on Monster and then give the task to the remaining players to go and challenge this A site. Look at the rotates being drawn up. Everything is offered over. B site basically clear for the taking. Grim starts to walk back in because the A players disappear. And as he rounds the corner, he does find K Serato and almost Vinny. But Vinny, the showstopper in these last two rounds. Absolutely. If there's anybody here that's quelled them, that's it's big. Vinny. Grim, he's been putting in the ADR. They're going to sprint in. They've already got the water control. It's an even 3v3. They see them all, and Naf's not able to get anything. Twists, one kill for him. Before this 3v3 went running in, it was him to get the first one, but he doesn't have a kit, and they're not going to go for the peak. Eventually, Yuri rounds that corner, and Art, well... He might think that this is not being stuck. Oh both my god. He still got it. Gets both. <laughs> and there should be ample time for the defuse. No How have has your, he managed? Have your cake and eat it too, Twist. He goes for the defuse. He plays totally reactionary instead of off a read. Doesn't move from that situation and pulls that back. This is Stewie. Big smile on his face. It wouldn't be so big after dying in the way that he did. The triple boost here off the start are taking Stewie out, who's literally watching this. Imagine he, he was not smiling at the very beginning. The retake was not looking good, but Grim sets him up nicely with some damage in, even if he doesn't get both kills. The beauty of that three-person boost is obviously, you know, we see the two guys and you're thinking he's going to jump up. Stewie's looking at what you normally expect, but I feel like Art, because he's just the further more to the, his left, it's that, it's that little difference. The and anticipating display. Stewie's position, he likes to stick to that box. Well, it looks like Liquid have got some clutch too. God damn. No kit. No kit in the one versus two. But and he just draws them in. It's perfectly played. I mean, it's not even like Furia even tried to call out the fake, but he is sticking it the whole time. And if they don't peek him, he'll get the defuse. That was literally what they had to do. They took the fight they needed to take. Okay, Naf, nice low shot here into the back of Long. A player wrapping around bathrooms, I think trying to move off this information uh, around the outside. No one's spotting it from the top of bathrooms. The CTs to don't, they don't throw a good smoke here. They're the forced in. Oh, they know oh, Naf's still stranded. They're quarantined right now. They've got to buddy up and stay close oh, together. Naf second. by turns around for a kill. He's alone. Vinny's cleared the player over on that A site, so all of a sudden, Naf realizes there is no help, but does he need it? Eventually, Art's going to drop him. We're back into the two versus two. And because this A site's compromised, Twists and Grim, with a bit of hesitation on their rotate, they need to clear everything. And Vinny, he's right outside the doorway here to the right. Twist sees the shadow. Easy pickup. And this opens things up for Art to head downstairs to the B site. It is clear for the taking. He has the smoke and a Molotov. No kit for the retake. Not that that stopped them last round. Art is within this site, and they both jump down. He sees the second head, keeps his Molotov for now. A flash on Grim and a first tap from Twist. Art goes for the peak, kind of jiggles it, and Grim goes right through him. Team Liquid, take 15. Well handled. That's Vinny looking for some information. Art already making up his mind that he's going to go towards B. If he gets a kill, he does, then that's good. But of course, Vinny low on HP over on the other side. That's Liquid with 15 off this retake. What a situation. And I guess we'll have to take another look at Nafi here from the top of the bathrooms. Again, he's got a teammate early on. I didn't even realize he had died just a few seconds before that. 
But after after that happens, he's got a swivel 180 to 180 to pick up all of these kills. Art eventually trades, but uh, man, when it gets close, Liquid, they pulled it out. First timeout from Furia. In an absolutely critical moment, they're going to have to crunch some numbers. Vinny and Art at the, about that $3,000 mark. Although Art already had the armor, so it's really just going to be Vinny, I think, who has to compromise. Furia have absolutely had some clutch factor. They've pulled out round wins with far less than this. But Liquid back-to-back -back retakes. Three of their five CT rounds by way of defuse. A little delayed here on this boost. Vinny puts some bullets through the wall. And both those players from Liquid give it up. Concentrated effort from Furia to come clear this. Last time we saw Liquid so far back on this A site, it was that one op shot from Art that made the difference. And I feel like having sussed out the situation, they are going to commit with this. Smoke grenades everywhere. Yuri picks up the first kill, but there's still two CTs in a further forward position. Alige rattling one off, and Naf eats the flash. Vinny's just on the other side of the flowers, and he's so low. Everybody here for Furia. Now it's a man advantage. Liquid taking them apart one from one. Caserato off of long. And Nap, he's also toppled. Yuri hits a crucial headshot. They don't have bomb. 30 seconds. And they need to disengage. Grim's not going to let them. Caserato, how does he go get that bomb? Either he grabs it and runs to the B site, or would he even think he can manage to come back? He's got no choice. He's got to stay here. CTs are going to rotate in. He's just got to assume they're going to give him respect. But the longer he takes, the less likely he is he gets the full plant off. He's going for the fake. His one chance to do it. He sees both. Can he get the kill? He'll go for one. Chance to plant, but instead he'll look for the 1v1. There's They've no time it. left to do this. Team it's Liquid. It's a game loss. Wow. Talk about playing it down to the wire. Defuse after defuse into the nittiest, grittiest 1v1 time. Their sixth teammate. The Clock, their biggest ally. Liquid picking it up, but we got answers, Mohan. An improvement on the offense from Liquid, and all of a sudden, that CT side looking mortal. This best of three series to crown one of our last Blast Fall finalists. We'll throw this one to the break, and the analysts will unpack Overpass in just a bit.
Come here, two pit, 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 two